Hello everyone! I have another scrapbook haul from my little scrapbook store and I wanted to share it with you guys. So excited because there's a new, some new stuff that I've never purchased before and kind of breaking out of my norm a little bit and I'm really excited about it. So first off I want to say Michelle sent these to me so thank you. Um, she sent me a couple distressed crayons and I'm super excited and you know what I realized just this second? These would probably match um, oh, my cat's in here, by the way, so he's probably going to do some stuff, make some noise. These would probably match the Doodlebug birthday collections that I was showing. I can't remember. And maybe even the Simple Stories ones. So these will be interesting. Um, I have a couple ideas I want to do with these, but a couple of distressed crayons. And I, it's picked raspberry and faded jeans. I don't think she could have sent me the better colors than these because these are beautiful. Um, so we're going to play with these and have some fun. Um, from what I've heard, Tim Holtz on his Facebook page, I think, this is what Tisa said, he does a lot of tutorials, so if you want to learn more about these, then that's a great place to go. I have added, ordered a new chair, by the way, but it's not coming till the 17th, so a little bit of squeakiness left, and then we'll be better. Um, she also sent me the Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. This is a, I love this magazine. I, I think this is one of, I'm so glad there's still a magazine around, um, and I love it. So, oh, there's my cat. Hang on. Oh, he can't make up his mind to go in or out. <laughs> One thing I ordered from her was these paper frills. Um, let me take them out for you. And I want to show you. It was all of the colors. So I've mentioned in my last couple lives that Doodlebug does, uses the same colors. So if you went and pulled out a collection from 2014 Doodlebug, it's going to match the colors exactly 2019's collections. So that is what's cool. One thing I love about Doodlebug, they're not the only one that does it. Um, I know Bella Boulevard does it. I think Echo Park has a lot of the same colors. Um, there was another one, but I can't remember. Hang on, I gotta let my cat out again. Come on, kitty. Go. Oh. He can't make up his mind. So, Okay, if I put him outside, he wants in, and if he comes in, he wants out. So <laughs> he just has a thing with closed doors. Okay, so I ordered these from Michelle, and these are really cool. They are paper borders, and I believe you get two of each design. So these might be all the designs. So let's see. This package contains 32 pieces, four of each shown. Oh, so you get four. That's even better in two shades of color. So let's take a look. What I think, oh, there is two colors in there. Oh, that makes it even cooler. So let me pull these out. Let me see what would show up best on camera. Can you see? Um, it's not the best that's showing up, but you can see there's like two different colors. So Doodlebug names their colors. Like I think they have a ladybug red and a ruby red. So I would assume it doesn't say Oh, this is Ladybug, so it must either match just Ladybug or a combination. But do you see the two different colors? It's really hard to see, I guess, on camera. I mean, you can see a little better down here. But you get two of each. They are paper. They are not sticky. But there's a lot you could do with these. And you guys know Doodlebug. So these will basically, my whole point is... These will work with all their collections over the years. And you guys, you know, I have a lot of Doodlebug. So I actually used to have, I still, I found some white ones the other day. I don't know if I had all the colors, but, ooh, this would be good maybe even for the blue next week, depending on what I end up doing. I still haven't decided, but um, these are awesome. So she has more of these, I believe. Um, these were during her last slide. Um, I only got to small parts of the last live um, we had a meeting we had to go to. So what should I show first? Okay, this is what I was the most excited about. This is the Pink Fresh, and I got the Happy Scrappy Bag. So she's still, I don't know if they're on a website, so just so you know, she's changing around some things on her website. Um, 
kind of working with that and so I don't know if this is up on the website or not but you can contact her and say hey I would love one of your happy scrappy bags she's just changing a few things to kind of make her life a little more simple <laughs> so the scra happy scrappy bag comes with the paper pack which is 16 double-sided papers it comes with the cardstock stickers these bows and I will show more in just a moment journaling bits puffy stickers, chipboard flare, ephemera, and these gorgeous enamel dots. So this is the Let's Stay Home collection. Now, I have I have not really documented any of the COVID. I will plan on doing so. Little bits, like some of the funny memes and things I've seen. Oh, this is like double wrapped. Sorry for the crinkling. Um, so there's little bits, you know, like I have a picture of my husband in the store when first everything first started happening and the shelves were empty behind him and we found two bags of pasta and he's like holding them up like, woohoo, <laughs> we actually got some pasta. So things like that. And that is why I love this collection. There's a lot of collections coming out, but a lot of them really are fo focused on like the mask wearing which is cute to have pictures and I do have pictures of us with the masks and stuff but not as much as just the other stuff like the staying home because I don't go anywhere so I don't really wear a mask like I go to the grocery store and that's about it so it's um you know so th I like that this doesn't just focus on that and the toilet paper the toilet paper was fun for you know but it's getting better now so that's Anyways, a lot of jibber jabber, but this actually would make a really nice, it's the back side of this, but this would make a really nice piece of white cardstock. So this is starts, and what I like, it says the simple things in life, re, in life, relax and unplug, love spending time together. There's dominoes, so we played dominoes online with my mom one time, her and and we just did it, you know, kind of what a, you call that Zoom meeting or FaceTime. I don't know what we did, but um, no place I'd rather be. And it shows the picture of the house. So that is what I really like about this collection. And on this side is this pretty pink, um, almost kind of a chevron, I guess. I don't know really what you would call that, but there's two of each piece. So we'll come to this piece again. And I won't show you them all twice, but here's again what I mean. This is like hanging out and having fun, homebody, home, game night, movie night, home cooking, stay home. This is the type, the way I want to scrapbook the COVID because it just, you know, the puzzle pieces, which we didn't end up getting a puzzle out, but there's like a computer screen with a book that I think is supposed to assemble online learning, um, time together. So this is I'm really excited and look at this beautiful blue I wish this wasn't the back because I will use both of those I'm glad there's two of them but that's a really pretty blue this one is not my favorite this is this is only a passing thing a new day will come and when the sun shines it will shine much greater so this is a pretty paper it's just kind of not my style so much but this blue is really a gorgeous blue and I won't leave it on the screen very long because it looks wonky on the screen then there's this row of houses and buildings which i think is really cool i think it's a good way to get across the fact that everybody was stay at home and then this you can't beat this this is gorgeous too then there's just this floral one which is a very good beautiful color kind of a purplish blue color um and it's just a floral it's very gorgeous but look at this fun side there's so much you could do with this and if you didn't want to use either side you could always just punch little shapes if you need if you run out of like ephemera or something you could punch shapes out of these or you know add a little picture on each little square which I thought about trying but I'm not I've never done that maybe I should break out my norm although I want to be able to use both sides but we'll see now this one is my favorite from the whole thing. I mean, look at those hearts. They're just gorgeous. Um, so there's that one and on the back's the yellow. I'm not that crazy about it, but it's a good neutral, but I mean, I already know I'm gonna use this side, so I'm not worried about that. Then here's some cut aparts. Um, home life is the good life. Um, baking together, you know, streaming now. That's how we roll again. We play dice with my mom and my dad. Love these moments. This makes me happy. 
you know, let's stay home, stay strong, all this stuff. I, I like the stay strong because there was quite a few, there was some struggles that I had. And yes, it has a weight like stay strong exercise wise, but I did struggle a little bit there with things are getting better for me now, even though I'm even more stuck at home because it's summer, but it's like it's always been. So this side is like a, I guess it's a darker gray, light black striped so totally versatile if you didn't like this side love this this just has a bunch of words on it if you only carry one thing throughout your what does that say of course say that one does <laughs> oh throughout your entire life let it be hope oh that's kind of cool so it says a whole bunch of different things about hope great color though and then this side i'm okay with this side i was thinking in a tiny strip it would be really really cute in a tiny strip too um so it's not my favorite but i definitely love so and then there we are back at the beginning so that is the papers and i have to pause now to go do some laundry and i will come back okay let's talk about what else it came with so it came with cardstock stickers um i would go out but i'm already in my pjs it's too peopley outside, stay home, online learning. So I won't go through all of them, <laughs> but I'm, this is what I'm really excited about. Um, dressed up for dinner at home, sending happy mail, budget planning, tackling laundry. Um, those are really good. This is how I want to document it in a happy perspective, I guess. There is also, what is this called? Journaling bits and what this looks like this is a bunch of just little journaling boxes, which is really cute. There's two little like stamp looking type ephemera pieces um, and just some envelopes. Looks like maybe one, two, three envelopes. And then this looks like maybe a pocket. So that is great. There's of course the beautiful enamel dots that I've already mentioned. These are such a pretty color. Look at that. I'm excited about those enamel dots. Then there is the ephemera pack. There's 55 pizzas, pieces, pizzas. There's 55 pizzas in here. Um, memories are stitched with love. I loved the game controller again. Um, more of the stay at home stuff, planting a garden, which we were lucky enough to get a few. It has not doing so well because it hasn't been very warm in my area, but um, there's like a shirt, a pajama shirt, just different things like that, a coffee cup choose hope, slow days. I, I just really love the way that they made this for a good, a good way to document. I keep saying that, but I know, but it's good. And then these are the chipboard flare, which I like these because in my area, all of my flare rusted. And so I pretty much had to throw it all out. Um, here's a good example. I got this a long time ago with an order. I ordered some flare offline. Do you see all the rust on the outside, those brown marks? That's not supposed to be there. Um, I don't even know why I still have that, but this is just chipboard flare, so I like this. Um, you could always add glossy accents over it, glossy accents over it if you wanted to make it into more flare looking. Then there's the puffy stickers. Again, it just goes along with more of these are my people, positive vibes. Home is the sweetest world there is. Indoorsy type, you know, the game controller again. So I am so excited. And then lastly is fabric bows. So it's kind of neat that these are fabric, yet they'll still match. Um, I do have a punch that will make bows, but these might be fun to play with. And there's all different kinds that you can make. So 36 pieces, 4, 8, 12. So there must be like three pieces to each one or something, but that's cool. So this is what I have been waiting for. I am so excited about this. I even ordered a bunch of pictures, um, so I need to go through those. So it, I'll probably, you know, start scrapbooking. I feel inspired to start scrapbooking that stuff right away. So um, I'm gonna drop that on the ground since my desk is slightly messy. The other thing I was super excited about, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll do this one. Happy Scrappy Bag of Rad Dad. And I won't go through absolutely everything. I'll do a quick through, flip through of the papers. At first I was like, no, I don't really want this, but um, 
If you look, if there's again, there's a lot of like the game controllers and the phones and the best dad and the colors are actually really good. So um, go ask your mom. I mean, how funny is that? My dad is so rad. So I really liked those. Uh, and again, oh look, the opposite side of this is actually a pattern. It's kind of a shiny almost. It's a different, no, I guess it's the same. It's just a tiny bit of the shiny type of paper, but still good quality. Um, but there's that fun pattern. I love it when companies do that so you don't feel like you're wasting. There's this one just says best dad, dad cave, rad dad. I like the colors in this quite a bit. Um, and then that side, fairly neutral. I think that's what I like is this one's not too themed. You, so you can do a lot with it. There's kind of this plaid one on the opposite side is, ooh, this is cards. We could do this. Oh, you know what? We have a game that we play, Sequence. Have you guys ever played Sequence? Let me know below if you have played Sequence. And I'm gonna write that because that would actually be kind of fun to document it's using cards um, so and this has like the clubs and the hearts and the spades all over it so I'm making a little note but that's that would actually be fun let me know below if you've played that game because it's a really fun game if you've never played that so then the game controllers of course even my husband's into gaming so my boys and ooh, look at that stripe oh sorry if that that it's hard to see on the camera so I won't keep it that way but I wish that wasn't the back side because I really like both those and then this really nice green look at that green and then some cut aparts so you could use some of these you could make cards with them if you wanted get your game on I love that you could even trim that out make it be your title and I just have a bunch of happy father's or pictures from father's day so might be what I do but I really love that green as well um, so that was their happy scrappy bag for this one and it came with the paper pack and I love that there's two of each of the papers. I, I really, I, I love the fact that they've sent two of each of the papers. Um, and then the die cuts. So that is that collection. Let me find here. And this is gonna be a little bit of a long haul, but that's okay. I'm just kind of here to chat as well, waiting for my laundry to be done. This was the other one I was so excited about. This is the Happy Scrappy bag. And you know what, I love these bags that Michelle sends them in because this is the exact type of, type of bag I keep my kits in and so I don't have to get new bags or take them out of like this thing which I would do sorry I know it's not easy doing it fast to be done with that so let me get that out quick quick but I usually take my stuff out of here and keep it so in her happy scrappy bag was the collector's essential kit which basically came with all the papers, eight sheets of them, four, eight sheets of double-sided designer card sock, four sheets of double-sided signature element pieces, which I'm sure is these, um, which I'm kind of glad they're phasing out like the four by sixes as much and the other side is like actual, not, it's not double-sided four by six. I've mentioned that a few times. I'm kind of getting past all these cut apart size great for pocket pages but I have enough pocket page stuff so it also comes with the cardstock stickers a roll of washi which you guys know me if I use some I'll use some if not nah, not worried about it bits and pieces die cuts and the chipboard stickers so I'll just do another quick little flip through again so this is kind of a fun page lots you could do with that and then this says you rock yes awesome sup Sounds totally like teenager and the way my kids talk. Look at this awesome star. I love that. That is a gorgeous boy page right there. And the other side is another gorgeous color. Again, I hate when I have two on the same that I want to use. This one's pretty cool. I like it. Epic dude, awesome bro, totally awesome. Um, beautiful red. Beautiful, awesome red. I mean, everything look at those colors so far they're just and this star one this is a great great boy kit this i'm not crazy about not gonna lie you could cut them in strips like this and that would make that a little better but that's okay because i love the circle or the circles and the stars so 
fine with that. There's the stripes. Can never go wrong with a stripe. Look at the blue. It's like a kind of got a blue jean type of fabric look to it. Um, but either one of those would make it great for matting photos and things. This one is not my favorite, not gonna lie, but I really like this. I think this is fun. And I like again, I like that they're not too themed, like they're boy themed, boy colors, but they're not over the top. So this one's good though. This one's great. It's got shoes, skateboards, controllers. Um, actually, it's got some cones. And how funny is this? I'm loving opening these with you guys because I'm getting so many ideas as I go along. There's these cones and it's hard to explain, but one day I have a picture of my son moving, helping at school with a cone on his head. So um, that would go perfect with that. But, oh, and then this side, this is a pretty cool fun. This would be good for maybe um, bumper cars or what do you call those? Bumper cars is what I'm gonna write. When we were in Malawa Lake. See, I love doing this with you guys. I'm gonna have to start opening everything with you guys. This one, you know me and banners. I don't care for it. It would be great to use. You could, if you wanted to, fussy cut those out and use them, but I love this yellow, so I'm not worried about that. This one, I love these two by twos. There's so much you could do with these. I saw somebody who did a layout for, I think Allison Davis's six by six, if you're part of that. She did a layout where I think it was one of the sketches so far, and instead of all the boxes around the outside, she turned put these as all the boxes on the outside. So I might scrap lift her and do that. I have so many collections I want to use, and it's hard to decide which one to do first. But um, this blue is really cool, too. So you could use a cut apart or the blue. The only downside, I guess, is that, again, um, there's only one of each paper but I think Michelle is also working on that where she's going to have like a extension pack so you can get two of each papers if you want with her happy scrappy bags so a lot of changes are coming so I'm really excited for Michelle and to see what um how all that goes but look at the how you doing that's so funny because at my wedding you know we got married when that was kind of a popular show and there's pictures where my husband we always used to joke about that and I might, I don't like those colors for a wedding page, but that's pretty cool. Um, so that's all the fun cut aparts. And this is a good, good um, pattern. I like that too, as well. So if you didn't like the cut aparts, but I like it that some of them are journaling. I wish they would do more. This yeet, oh, I didn't see the yeet. How many of your kids is yeet? Yeet, yeet. If you don't know what yeet means, go ask a teenager. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't believe it says that. I am so excited that it says that because that is the times right now. <laughs> I have control issues. Look at how great this is. This was one of my favorite. This is what got me. Warning, official teenager. Yes. Oh my gosh. My I have great kids. My boys are great. But they've got teenage attitudes at times. And if you have teenagers, you're going to know exactly what I talk, I'm talking about. The set bro is pretty good. Oh, and all I need is food, Wi-Fi, and my bed. This is a great collection. And then this is pizza and drinks and tacos. So that's a lot of fun. Um, oh, and there's more. So here's more cool story bro. Actually, my son likes to read. This is a good way to document like your son if he likes to read, you know, and make him not in a non-nerdy way to make, you know, whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, this is an excellent gray color. Love that. And then the stickers. Oh, and then look, lazy. So instead of Lay's, <laughs> instead of Lay's chips, lazy on the regular. Oh, that's pretty funny. This is a great, the bro squad. I like this. My son's always wearing sweatshirts. They'll, um, I like this energy drink, but we don't really, I don't like energy drinks so much. So that'll be a little harder, but that's okay. Um, but love the stickers. Uh, here's the chipboard banner piece mm, might be hard for me to use but I'm gonna try to but fun things here and then the ephemera pieces what is this bits and pieces burrow and co I even like the little teddy bear you could do a page with the books and the teddy bear and still make them look cool so we'll pause for tacos oh that's a funny one if you have big gamers I don't know how well you guys can see that there 
So that came with that. And the journaling bits, which are really cool. I like the journey, journal, journaling bits. Yay for Friday. <laughs> this is going to be a fun collection, you guys. Um, now, one thing I did request from Michelle. And we will have to see kind of what happens um, to go along with this is the Simple Stories foam stickers. So she sent me these. Um, they are, so that she sent me one of the better packs. I think they, she's not happy with these and I can see why they're, these, this is actually not too bad, but there are uh, spots where it's just not the best quality. So she's thinking about, I mean, yeah, I can see what she's talking about now. They're, they're, they're kind of bent in some spots and it's kind of interesting. Um, but I think she might sell these at a discount maybe, or I don't know if she's completely decided yet, but I do have these and um, you'll have to ask her about it. If you want these, you can request them and, and she'll let you know what she thinks. She might just put a disclaimer that, hey, there, there's a little bit of, you know, it's not the greatest quality. So I think I'll, they can still work for me. I, I can see the spots where there's a little bit bent, um, but I'll still make them work for me. But I love these. I love how they go with it. Um, the only thing I don't care for in this collection is the cream based. You guys know me, I'm not so cream based, but the collection is so worth it. So I'm gonna go for it. Okay, another new, I've never ordered, oh, this is the new company, Little Birdie. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to make a little section in my room. So this is the Happy Scrappy bag. I'm going to have to make a section in my room for Little Birdie because I can tell you right now, I'm gonna love their stuff. So this is Sunshine and Lemonade and oh, I love it. And you know what I love about it? Can you see yet? Have you figured it out? <laughs> I look at that toucan. He got they got me with the toucan. He is adorable. Oh my gosh, the toucan. So there's the stickers. These are interesting. Oh. Okay, these are not stickers. These you have to cut apart, but there's a tiny faint little gray line showing you where you can cut apart. Do you see barely like under the word sunshine right there? Um, so that's actually really nice that they can, if you had a scan and cut, you could easily do it. But I like that they have a little cut up. So you do have to cut those apart. I'm okay with that. I think I'll take this and do it tonight when I'm watching TV with the husband or something. Look at that guy. Look at him. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> okay, so the papers, they are single-sided. Um, it's a different kind of texture. The back side is kind of shiny, but the front side is not. It kind of looks like it in the video, but you can see the difference of the shininess. So um, again, you could mat your photos with that or something. So again, they are single sided. So there's this really pretty yellow polka dot and it looks like you must get one of each. Um, this says 250 GSM printed acid free cardstock. So I don't know if that tells you anything, but then there's the lemons and limes, which is really sweet. This really pretty butterfly. I could see little my little girl pictures of her because I still have pictures when she was young. This fun little spirally. Then this one, you guys. I'm thinking even Disneyland photos. Tiki room. Oh, I don't know. How do I even use? This is one of those papers I would save, but I'm not a paper saver anymore. But love it and then look at these beautiful flowers any kind of beach vacation summer anything so there's the floral Ooh, look at this pretty one that's really pretty that's really gorgeous i might have to play around with that one there's this yellow floral really pretty hawaiian I got another idea. My husband, I wonder how well that would go with a blue Hawaiian. My husband used to wear Hawaiian shirts. Actually, they've made it Hawaiian day on Friday, um, Hawaiian shirt day on Friday for Fridays. So here's a really nice 
these I all really like. These I could find to be very useful. Sometimes I'm not super crazy about the paper border strips, but you know, even if you wanted to, you could cut it this way and have this going down your page, which would be really cute. Then there is this like doily page where you can punch them out. So they don't even, they just barely pretty much come out. And I like that the little flappy taggy things are not much when they're left over. Um, but if you get this, look at all this extra. Punch some shapes out of that. Don't waste that. Even if you wanted to, you could punch the, shape, the shapes out and put pictures behind it and make a layout that way. So don't waste the extra. That's a very pretty blue. Um, but look at that birdie. You know, I'm going to be using him. A little toucan of my appreciation. <laughs> and then they do have this cut apart sheet. So gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, it also came with these four by six inch 24 cards. And I think they're the same, fairly close. Now these would be great for actual card making, but you know I'm gonna use the bird on a scrapbook layout. So there's the birdie again. This is just the cover paper. Hello sunshine. Oh, so you get two of each. That's neat. And you could always use these as a title. You could use them. You could cut them down. You could um, do a four by six page where you put some four by six photos and the rest are these. Or you can fussy cut these out for ephemera pieces. Don't be afraid to cut, up, cut them up and look at them different. Fun in the sun. Sending you sunshine. Again, you could cut out the flamingos if you didn't want, or put these on some cards. You are my sunshine. These are four by six, so you to get that like four and a quarter by five and a half, you'd have to trim it. But there's that really pretty one again. Oh, that would be fun to, oh, I'm kind of excited to play with this now. When life hands you lemons, make lemonade. Yes, sending loves and hugs. Sweet as sunshine. You are like sunshine on a cloud. That's a sweet one. Sweet as lemonade. And then my favorite bird. I should just frame one of these little birds. <laughs> Put it in my room. The one thing that got me, and I'm not going to open this because there's a whole bunch, but look at the glitter. You guys know I love glittery things. So you see the glitter shining. I think they all have glitter. And I don't see any glitter in the pack. Like, you know, if it was loose glitter it would be all over in the bag and there's not. So I'm gonna say at this point that it's the good stick stuck on kind, but there's all the different pieces. And again, my favorite little bird. And the butterflies are really pretty too. Okay, so again, this is Little Birdie. And I don't remember the name of Sunshine. What was it called? Sunshine and Lemonade, which is a really cute name. So, I'm going to put all these on the floor. Excited to play with that. Okay, by Little Birdie. Also, by Little Birdie. And what does it say? Birds and berries. So why did I get it? I'm sure you can figure it out. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show you the washi tape for the Bro and Company. Bro and Co. From um, Simple Stories. So this is birds and berries and you guys you know already why I got it so look at these pretty colors though this is a very slick back look at these now you don't have to use this as it is um I might fussy cut some of this stuff out I haven't decided this is kind of a newer type of thing for me so um I, I wanted to try these out you could do a double page these would be really pretty together as a double page Look at that. That's a good idea right there. I mean, they're a little bit different from each other, but once you get like papers, you could put some pictures and papers across here and you would just need a little bit more embellishments and they're good. Now, I don't think she had any embellishments for this. Um, oh, look at that, you guys. That's so pretty. Oh, I love it. These are all single sided, by the way. The birds on the wire, you guys know. Anything bird, 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 look at these. And it, since it's Little Birdie, I have a feeling I'm gonna be getting a lot of their collections. Again, here is the doily punch apart. A lot of birds. The roses are really pretty too. 
Um, the cut aparts here, Miracles Happen, Life is Meant to be Lived. These are really, oh, I'm so in love with these, you guys. Again, the sheet that you can cut apart. Some of them have little spots to show you where to cut apart, and some of them don't. It looks like most of the words, but that's okay. Again, fussy cutting doesn't bother me. Love the berries. How cute is the berries to go along with birds? Of course, that's why it's called birds and berries, right? That's really cute, really gorgeous paper. The pink, this is a gorgeous pink. And look at the fence, that's so neat. I could see cutting it like six inches since it has this doily along the bottom and you could do a double page, take that and put it along here. So you would have that as like a bottom or a top. Oh, I love it. And what's this one? Just that beautiful purple. Oh, I'm so in love with you guys. This was, again, birds and fairies. I'm in love with you guys. Did I say that? Well, I do love you guys, but <laughs> that was funny. Um, the last little birdie collection that I got, another happy scrappy bag, was poppies and roses. And this one, again, uh, this has a little bit of birds in it, I think, but I think I was stolen away by the glitter on these ephemera pieces. So again, this is a little bit different type of paper for me, but I'm excited to try it. And this one, I was actually hoping I would get this before the red challenge, but um, Michelle was just way too busy. So, but I wanted to try this. So this is called Poppies and Roses, but look how pretty that is. And there's even, do you see that little bird in the background? Oh, that's neat. I don't know, this is gonna be interesting for me. Um, if you like Minte papers, I think this is a great, it's very similar. Um, ooh, look at that. There's so much you could do with that. Oh man, this is gonna be hard to decide. Look, now this one's almost a page done for you. You could add a few, a picture, maybe a title, some journaling or some um, ephemera, and that's almost pretty much finished pretty roses here. They look water, or not roses, just roses. I guess they're all kinds. Then there is this one. This is again the doily pop-out sheet. Again, you can still use the background. You know, you could cut little strips, so don't throw away that background. Here's the three by fours. If I could get... It's a good, it's a thick quality. It's kind of a different type of paper. It's really interesting. Um, these butterflies you could fussy cut with the flowers. Oh, and then here's the cut aparts. I loved the clock and the butterflies. Look at these great borders. Very nice. I love this. This, this is pretty and the pink one too. So there's a couple pink. And these are these poppies and I just did my photos that had the poppy flowers on them. So, um, look too little too late on that, but there's another wood grain. So I'm in love, in love, in love. I am going to make a little birdie section in my thing. I will open all this, but again, here is the ephemera pieces. So no birds in this one. I thought there might have been some birds, but that's okay. I can still use it. Before I put this away, I will show you. Here's some of the other little birdie stuff. Again, some stuff I've never really used or thought about much, but the little flowers. She had a bunch of these little flowers. I'm trying to tap them down so you can see. But I thought these would be really fun. Look how well they go with this paper. So that would be fun to use with it. Some of these little birdie handmade flowers here. So I just thought it'd be fun to play. Now these pink ones don't, the pink is totally different. The light pink would work really well. I'll take one out to show you. These are pearl blossom, pearl pink. 24 pink pack. Now this one, that would go really well. It's a still a little bit different tone though, maybe. Um, I don't know, maybe it won't go as well as I thought, but I'm still going to use these. So these were very random for me to get, but I'm excited to play. So this is Pearl Blossom Pearl Pink 24 piece. Vincy Moonlight Nine Piece Little Birdie. This is Polina Love and Roses. 
And then these really cool butterflies with the flowers in between. And these do have dimension to them, but a little bit of dimension doesn't bother me too much. So, and this is Flatura Shabby Chic six piece. So I'm excited to play. And they these are not part of the Happy Scrubby bag. These were just what I ordered. I believe the last thing now is this one and Michelle sent me this I was actually going to use this at the last prop but they did not get them in time so I think what I'll do is plan on using it at the next crop this is wild whisper I had never heard of this until she asked if I wanted to use this collection and I said yes this is perfect for my husband for going on hikes all kinds of stuff so this is their adventure collection so it's 12 sheets, sheets plus one bonus design, which I think is this. Again, I love the fact that they double printed on this. This is kind of the shiny paper, but I still it's very smooth. I like it. Um, had to smell it. I haven't smelled any of the papers this time around. Look at the wood, like stump images. What do you call that? I can't remember, but look at these cool bears. Aren't these colors really cool? I like that this bear has like a real life picture behind him do you see the bear with the real life picture like this guy up here that's really cool and then this side is a pretty cool gray and green I'm not that crazy about that but I know I'll use the bears look at this this looks like a rock like the side of a rock if you had like a rock climber or something that's cool I've never seen a paper like that before oh and look at that this is going to be hard to decide what sides to use. That's so neat. And the looks like these strips are, the manufacturer strips are usable too. Here's that same kind of wood grain type paper, only in black. I love that. This is a really good plaid color. This is going to be great for some of my husband's backpacking photos. This is a neat one. It's kind of almost wood grain type, but it's but it's not, it's like grunge wood grain. So that's really cool. And the arrows, love the arrows. And then this one, isn't this funny? Cause this is total opposite of Doodlebug, but I love it. It's funny how it's like that. I love the blue colors. This is almost like camo. Anything camo you have would go good. This has a bunch of just green triangles. I really like that. Ooh, look at that. That is so, I don't know it's so cool it's like almost like pink gun splatters but oh it's really neat hard to explain my words are leaving me now I've been talking too long adventure therapy that's awesome saying right there that's total good title I believe it is time for another adventure oh this is so exciting life was meant for good friends and great adventures Michelle will be doing a live this on July 15th and I believe she's gonna have this collection. So if you want this collection, snatch it up. Oh, and good, look, there's two of each paper in there. So I won't go through them twice, but I love the fact when there's two. So this, I think, like I said, I think unless she has something else she wants me to use, I will try to use this um, if I go live at the August crop. Wonder if I could do a blue challenge with it. I don't know. I don't know if I would wanna just use the blue. Here is, what is it? Ephemera pack. I don't know if it says how many pieces, but there's like wolves howling, the bears, um, you're an explorer, adventure therapy. I love that adventure therapy. That would be a great title. That's a great title. So I will hold this up so I don't go through all of them. I'm going to move it just a hair so you can see different pieces. Isn't that neat? I love it. I love this little wood sign, even though it doesn't say anything, you could even write your own thing in there. Um, go and do stories to tell. So I am really excited about this. And I think that concludes my haul. So thanks for sticking in there with me the whole time. And don't forget to check out their live, which is coming up Wednesday, July 15th, I believe. Is that Wednesday? Um, let's look. Let's look. Yep, Wednesday, July 15th. So we will see you there. Um, and I can't wait to see all the other cool new stuff she has out. Probably new little birdie stuff that I'm going to need and want. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for joining me. And let me know if you order from Michelle, please let her know that Heather B. sent you. And 
that's it. I will talk to you guys next time. All right, bye.